Hello, dear students. Uh, now we will go to uh, another example of uh, beam stress analysis. And uh, as you can see here, this example, uh, we have this cantilever beam with, uh, loaded by different type of uh, loads. Uh, this one's concentrated force load in this end point. Uh, here we have a uniform pressure 1200 newton per millimeter in this specific uh, location of this cantilever beam and then we have another type uh, which is not uniform pressure not uh, uniform distribution pressure in this uh, distance in this location of this beam uh, this beam uh, material properties is uh, Young's of Medulus is 10 gigapascal portion ratio is 0.27 also, we'll use the element type as a regular for beam 188. Uh, and the cross section of this uh, beam will be uh, 12 times 12. So let's go to ANSYS APDL and uh, start with the preferences structural again and preprocessor element types. As I mentioned, we will use beam uh, 20188 close, no need for uh, real constant, so directly to material properties, for material properties, still structural linear elastic isotropics to, to the power of 11, and portion ratios 0.27, okay, done, for the beam section, common sections, now we'll use square, so the section is the 12 times 12 only. You got the idea of NB and NH, uh, NH is also if we want to this div divide the, the cross section of this beam, we can do it, so no need. You can see preview the, of this uh, cross section uh, area. Say OK, replot, and then we start to create uh, in modeling. <coughs> create that using the key point so apply for first point the second point is 100 100 100 so we can put 100 0 for second point apply 200 0 apply 300 0 okay don't press apply okay so we'll get only one four points four nodes as you can see here uh, sorry one this is the first one fixed end two three four uh, nodes with three elements almost so uh, now let we create lines straight lines from one to two two to four Okay, let me mesh this lines, these four lines using size control manual lines. We can say all lines. Okay, divide them into 20 for each. Okay, so each line divided into 20 elements. Now let's go to uh, mesh mesh lines you can say pick all and that's all so we uh, the meshing is also done let's go to boundary condition on the loads to apply the loads for the first example I will leave this one because we already did it it is almost same so let we uh, solve this uh, problem the second uh, drawing here so let's go to apply this uniform load here from in the, in the second line exactly 1200 so let's go to that let me plot uh, lines to make it clear for me the second one so load define loads apply Displacement uh, 
uh, on key points select the first end of this beam all degree of freedom zero displacement okay so we fix it from this point and now let we apply the load in the middle uh, distance here so apply pressure on beams and box and let we select only the required so we selected as you can see here now we say okay uh, instead of one load key make it two to make it in y direction and 1200 uniform for uniform distribution as i mentioned before leave this uh, field blank so okay we got it now uh, let's go to solve this problem only so solve current line steps okay solution done now we can go to see the uh, results from general post process plot results deform shape deform it and deform and so as you can see here it is done uh, for the exact result as I mentioned list of results you can get it from here for the reaction or for the uh, another solution so in my direction okay so we'll get it uh, element by element not so the node numbers here how many nodes we have should be 60 61 exactly so the maximum uh, deformation is here and the zero deformation in node one as regular the reaction also you can get the reaction solution all items so we will get the you can see the reaction only in y direction here because the force was in y direction uh, in node one on because we have only uh, node one fixed for the speed so let let we uh, see how to apply the another load for the another example this one how to uh, identify this not uniform uh, distributed uh, force or pressure so in answers first uh, for load let we delete pick all better so no no load no more a lot here in this example so let we add uh, pressure for the last uh, example pressure on B let we first plot lines to get it as regular now the forces come like this in this area is 1200 uniform distributed force and here not uniform so on beam box so for this one okay we will apply in two also one to 1200 this one is uniform okay and on beam again box and select the last part of this beam okay and put start with 1000 1200 newton and end with 2400 this value should identify it now and 
okay so we got uh, uh, this uh, 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 not uniform starting from 2000 to uh, 4000 now let's go to solve this and check the results is done let's go to see the results from general post processor you can get load deformed shape deformed and indifference almost same but definitely the result will be different because of different loads now we have different loads uh, control load check in my direction sorry the deformation in my direction okay so this is the uh, maximum value here uh, of the deformation also we can see the vector plot predefined or transition so you can see here it is distributed and as I mentioned for exact values you can go to list results for uh, 3d uh, you can use the uh, size and shape style open this one to make it on so now let's go to control plot to get in my direction okay so it's in three dimension as you can see here so this is the uh, way how to apply this different types of load in any type of B for the uh, boundary condition also if it is fixed end or released end or free end so uh, that's all about the beam stress analysis thank you very much and see you in the next lesson uh, Thanks a lot.